Steve shot Michelle on this white cyclorama, and this can work if you've planned out your shot well, you know what you want to composite into. In this case, the plan was to composite this shot into this video clip of a white room with the wind blowing this curtain. So we have a fan in the shot to help sell the shot. Here's the shot itself. And you might think, okay, if you go to the keying section of the effects browser, there's a Lumic here, and we want to key out the white, so you think you might want to use a Lumic here. I highly recommend that you don't. I find the keyer works better than the Lumic here when trying to key out either white or black. In this case, it will work because we're compositing her onto something that is white. So the key does not have to be perfect, and that's really the only reason we're able to pull this off. So I'll drop the keyer on, and it looks like a mess right away. I'm going to hide the bottom clip so we can see what's going on. Let's look at the matte view, and it really hasn't done the right thing at all because it doesn't know how to figure out how to deal with white. So in this case, I'm going to bring the strength slider all the way down to zero and perform a manual key by using the sample color tool. And I want to keep the shadow areas here. I just want to get rid of the really bright white areas. So I'm going to click over here, and that gives us a good start. I'm going to sample again and click over to the right and try to eliminate these other areas. And if I manipulate this for a little while, I can get a nice soft edge. You really have to kind of drag this around until something works pretty well. I know I can mask all that off. I don't care about that. And there's some rough edge detail here. It doesn't look good, but we're combining this with a white background, so it should be okay. So let's also add a mask while we're here. She's not moving, so this will be fairly easy to do. Shrink down. I want to include this shadow behind her. Add a little feather to the mask, and turn our background back on. And because of our background, it actually works quite well. Let's change her position a little bit. I'll drag her down and move her over. And if I scrub through the clip, we've created a really great composite that works because of the pre-production planning. One thing we can do to sell this shot just a little bit more let me move her over a little bit this way, is to make it look like this light that's falling on her is actually falling on her. I'll bring her down a little bit more. To do that, I'll copy the clip, move the play to the start, option V, to do a connect edit. And this top one, I'm going to mask. And I'm going to use a draw mask on it. And I only want to include the area that is being hit by this sunlight here. So about like that. Add a little bit of feathering to that mask. And now I'm going to perform a color correction just to this area. Command 6. And let's bring up the mids. Let's bring up the highlights. And I'll go back to the mask. And adjust it a little bit then deselect it. So it's a nice little additional touch that helps sell the composite image. 